Look at all of what this thing can do. Unreal. One of my biggest productivity killers is getting distracted when I'm working from home. Ah, trashy. With this keyboard though, I've been able to start my day with a single tap of the button and eliminate a ton of distractions. What just happened there is that I got my lights turned on to the level and the color temperature I'd like. I also turned on my favorite music playlist and even turned on the shuffle feature so that it's not the same every day. Then I opened up Google Docs, my favorite AI assistant, and opened up my video editing program because, yeah, I'm a video creator. But I also locked all of the smart locks in my home. Now, as I start my workday, I've eliminated distractions, plus I can hit this next button to adjust the lighting. I'm just ramping up the brightness a little bit every time. So if I want a little extra light today, I can do that. This stuff is completely customizable to you. So today I'm gonna to show you the different ways that I'm automating my life and eliminating distractions with this keyboard. Let's give her. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and my goal on the channel is to save you time and money on your journey to live smarter. Today I'm gonna do that with this little keyboard from Third Reality. Before I get to some of the other ways that I've eliminated distractions and created automation, I do wanna tell you a few things about this keyboard so you understand how a lot of this is happening. This is Third Reality's smart keyboard MK1. It's what's called a matter over Wi-Fi product, which means it connects to your home's Wi-Fi and then can connect to a lot of different applications so you can control both smart products in your home and in my case, things on my PC. Because it has matter, this keyboard can connect to apps like Apple HomeKit, Samsung SmartThings, Home Assistant, Homey, and more. Today I'm primarily using this with Home Assistant, but you can still do a ton with those other apps. Now the setup process is very simple because of the fact that it's a Matter device. You basically plug it in, choose your app, add a new device, and scan the little code on the back of the keyboard. Then what happens is the 12 buttons that are normally just the function buttons on a keyboard can be combined with this little matter button. So I hold the matter button and then I hit one of those 12 buttons and that can cause all of those matter certified apps to run an automation. Now you might be noticing that this keyboard doesn't have a numeric keypad and that's my biggest gripe. I'll be adding one on the side, but I'd love to see a version of this from Third Reality with one of those. It's a mechanical keyboard, so it does have this nice sound to the keys and there are a lot of adjustments you can make to the effects. Brightness, the speed of the effects, and there are even some that react when you're tapping the keys. One of the things that really ruins my productivity is having to get up through the day to take care of little tasks. Whether I need a little information or I'm getting uncomfortable in my office, I often get up or pick up my phone and then get distracted. Instead of letting that happen all the time, I'm now using this keyboard. For weather or the time, I'm not picking up my phone. Instead, I'm toggling on this Govee Gaming Pixel Lite. It's a quick check and alternatively, if you don't have something like this, you could just open up the weather website on your PC. When I'm getting uncomfortable, it's usually because I'm getting a little warm because I run a little hot. So adjusting my thermostat or turning on this fan or a humidifier is really helpful. And again, I'm not having to get up to do that. And when someone shows up at my home, I want to know who's there and whether I have to get up. <laughs> Look at all of what this thing can do. Unreal. Now for this, I have set up kind of a wild string of automations and it eventually pulls up all my outdoor cameras on my Echo Show 8. After five minutes, it'll turn off those cameras. So not only do I know who is at my door, but I can see if anything else is going on around my home 
any time. And yeah, that one might distract me a little bit. Now, many of you might have cameras that you can access on a web interface. I actually have a couple of ring cameras that I can do that with. Plus, I have my control panel here for the rest of the lighting in the office. I can open up both of those with a single press of the button and that allows me to check those cameras in a different way and to control other parts of my smart home. What might be really interesting to you is that this could be a way to check if a Rover is at doggy daycare or even your kids are at doggy daycare. <laughs> you can quickly get to those sites so you can do a quick check. And finally, I'm a pretty big coffee drinker and unfortunately I can't automate my coffee maker fully today. I've actually got to put the coffee pod in it. So yeah, but it does require a little extra water because it's an espresso maker. So I can turn on my smart kettle. That means the water is ready to go when I get up there and it means I'm not getting distracted while I wait for the water to boil. And before I get to some of the fun things that I've done with this keyboard and how I end my workday, I'd love to hear what you guys would want to do with this kind of a keyboard. And you know, I know some of you will be looking for the details for how I did these automations. I didn't want to try and pack that into today's video because some of these things are very involved and we'd be here all day. So instead, I produced a downloadable automation guide. Yes, it costs a couple of bucks because it took me some time to put it together. But if you want to take some of the ideas from today's video, it's all in there. Now, sometimes I just need to take a break. The way I do that is a little bit of gaming. Uh oh, I actually took this footage long ago. So here I am, I'm playing one of my favorite games called XCOM, but I've turned on what's called dream view mode with Govi lights so that the entire area around my game is mimicking the colors on screen. This single click turns that on, opens Steam for me, and then prepares things like my speaker volume to play a game. Now throughout today's video, you've seen me open up a few websites. When I need a little bit of downtime or distraction, I open those up with a single click and then I can go through. I've been working for a bit. Let's get a little distracted. Ah, trashy. But to end the day, I think you gotta have a little bit of a celebration. So we can put the PC to sleep, get our lighting to shut off after a little delay so we can get out with some lights on. And of course, we can turn on other music in our home. Now, you can check the links down below for the Third Reality Smart Keyboard MK1. This is a great little device. I've actually had one of these for a few months now, so that's let me develop all of these automation. It also means I kind of get that it is a good, reliable device. For those of you who are interested in how I did these things, the link to our guide is down below, and I've tried to be very comprehensive with that to make sure that you can do the things that I have. Fair warning though, lots of the computer-based automations would require Home Assistant. Now for you channel members, thank you for being a channel member, and of course, you can get this guide. This is one of your perks, and I have an announcement in our community tab for how you can get that guide today. Check out some of our other automation idea videos right there on screen now. You're gonna see a lot of different ways to use smart gear to really improve your life and of course, to save time and money. Otherwise, thanks for watching today and of course, live smart.